Okay, we're in the back of the marble pinball machine and we are going to set this to uh, the safe mode. So we're going to turn off the PCB board, PCB board. And we're going to take all the full screw out. Okay, and once we take those out, it's a good idea to go ahead and unplug the power. Alright, and then uh, there is the there is the PC board car in there, the plug right there. So I have a, a cable, which is this kind of cable. Is an Android cable. It's for like a, you know, iPhone data. It is a, a data cable, not just a power charger. Okay, so I'm gonna plug that to here. And this one is the USB A. USB A cable, and that's gonna go to my laptop. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and plug this in here. We're going to not face it upward, we're going to face it down. So see how this head is? We're going to face it down. So instead of this flat area, we're going to flip it around. Okay, so now it's plugged in. Okay, so now it's plugged in, and we are now going to flip the switch at the bottom. So that is going to be hard to do. So let's move the camera over. Okay, so the plug is plugged in. We are going to switch the cable from on to off okay so right now it's it's tall tall us and we're just going to push it down so we're just going to push that level using my nail let me do it from this side use something else instead of my finger so you can see what I'm doing so I'm gonna push this down see now it's down so right there it's on and now this level is down so I push it down later we're gonna push it back up once it's done which is let me try to push it back up and now it's back up now it's down okay so we are going to now it's down so it's not an on position it's an off position hopefully you guys can see that good all right so now the machine is still power off we're going to go to the computer and start to hack this system Okay, we're now in at the computer. We are. I'm going to zip this folder up for y'all, so you could uh, unzip it and put it into your C drive. Okay, so you're gonna put it on the C drive of your computer. My C drive is actually named Windows, so I know that this is the C drive of my computer, running Windows 10. I'm gonna go ahead, double click on that, 
Now all the download is already been downloaded for you. You know the marble pinball and the, the Star Wars pinball and what's the other one? And it's already converted into APK. And then the William uh, Monster pinball, I, I believe. So they all been uh, put in the APK uh, format right now. Okay. Uh, this information came from uh, this hack came from a mystery uh, hacker that doesn't want to let anybody know who who he is. So the credit go to them, and the person who did the first video was Kong on us. Now he already uh, he did a video, but he was his video was pulled back down. So I they didn't say why he he took it off. But all the link that he have given us from that video doesn't work no more. So, and then plus, uh, RK1UP already took out, took their Marvel pinball and the William pinball off their site. Well, let me take that back. The William pinball, only one William pinball is still there. The Star Wars and the Marvel pinball firmware is gone. So there's no way to get this. So everything is here right now. The only thing you have to do now is turn on the, you want to run this program called the e Zactic. We need to install that to install the firmware. Okay, well, the physical option. We're going to list all driver. And we're going to check all the driver we have. So the only thing we I have plugged in on the to the laptop is the Intel wireless Bluetooth touchscreen element, USB option mouse, and HP. So one, two, three, four, five, five thing. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and plug the USB into into my computer and also uh, turn on the power back plug the power back in to rk one up so let me go ahead and do that okay we're going to go ahead and plug the power back on to the pinball machine so we're going to go ahead and plug it in okay so now it's plugged in and we are going to take this cable that we plug into the back. Uh, we're going to plug that to my laptop, which is over here. And we're going to follow that cable, which is now plugged into this hub. Okay. So my hard drive is plugged in here and my USB this one is plugged into this cable it is now plugged into my my laptop okay so we are going to turn on the machine the pinball machine and then we're going to run the run the driver for the software okay we're over here now we're gonna go ahead and turn the power on all right you hear the laptop make some noise uh, nothing's going on here. It's just the power is on. It doesn't look like it's doing anything right now. Okay, because at the PCB, we turn it off. All right, so now we're going to come here and we're going to run that program again. Okay, my video capture somehow died on me. And I already finished... Uh, option number four i haven't done number five yet okay so i'm gonna close this out and we do it everything from the beginning because this system is uh somehow it, it killed my video capture okay so first i do not know that did i show you how to install the driver i'm gonna put everything in this folder and the First thing you want to do is install the driver. So you want to install the Z Zack Zack Dag Zack Dig 
okay and you're gonna click on option and right now if you click on option it show you all this that I have the only one that is not showing up is the one oh okay so this must be the one no that's not it So it's not recognizing my interest. So I'm going to power off my pinball uh, back on because I'm redoing from the beginning because uh, I, for some reason it wasn't working and then in the middle of my video recording, it just killed my video capture recording. So some of this I might be repeating again so I'll just turn it back on. It's going to show an unknown device. That's the one you're going to install. Once you select the unknown device, it's going to show 1F3A. You want to go ahead and click replace the driver. And this is going to take like less than a minute. Okay. So once that's done, you could close the uh, ZigTag. ZigTag, what it does is installing a driver for you so that your PC will be able to talk to the computer. I mean, not, your pinball will be able to talk to the computer, your PC. And uh, we are using Windows 10, and this software is only support Windows 10 at this moment. So you have to use that. Now, all this information I got, uh, we have to give the credit to Kong RS. He's the one who uh, gave us the video. I do not know why he took it down. So, all right, so I will, then you wanna close this. I will provide you all this. So you once you download it, just put this on your C drive and go into one of border latest. Then you're gonna go to PowerShell. Once you go to PowerShell, view the type, click type. So you are viewing by executable and there's PWSH. You want to run that as a run as administrator. I click yes. Once that is run, you want to type cd cd uh, space dot dot to move backward, and then you want to type the word dot forward slash b a l l e r dot p s one. Okay. Once that's done. Uh, None, none of this thing work because uh, it's not tied into the RK one up pinball no more. So if you try to run this, it's not going to download anything for you. So you can skip 12, 13, 14 because I already have it download for you. And so you have to do now is run number two and then close this off, close it down, restart it again. And then uh, one will work and then you're going to run three, four, five. So you're going to run up to number five and that's it. Now the thumb for some reason do, do not work. So don't uh, need to do that because it doesn't work. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. The, the six, seven, eight, nine, ten do not work either. I tried to do number, I tried to do number seven, didn't work for my, for my download the frame. Uh, dump my stock firmware, it didn't work. So. All right, let's go ahead and do number two, press enter. We're going to say yes. Now this one does take about close to maybe two minutes to do this. And after it finished, this is the part where when you try to do number one, it's going to give you an error message. And when you get the error message, it's a good idea to uh, close your PowerShell and reopen the PowerShell again. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try it together. And we will know soon once this is finished. So it's going to take about two minutes. Let it finish. Okay, it's on 95%. And then I think that the next two, it go faster. Yeah. The last two go faster. So once those are finished, we, we're we going to try to attempt to do run number one. But I could tell you for right now for sure, uh, by playing with this, num Number one is not going to work unless you, you restart the PowerShell again.
Okay, so just FYI. So we're gonna let it run. Okay, it's done. So if you was to run number one, it's gonna give you an error. So let me just demonstrate that. So you guys, see, even when I press up and down error, it doesn't work. Okay, you could type it in, but that is already telling me that there's a problem with this. See, so making a disconnection and it's gonna reconnect by itself, automatic. Now it's reconnected. So that's good because I haven't touched anything. That sound is telling me that something is being disconnected and reconnecting. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, okay, so now I could press up and down arrow, it's coming back. So that means this is back again. All right, let's try again. We're gonna do number one because you, you wanna do number two first and then do number one. Now this is the part where Khan R us got the error and I got the same error. So I'm getting the error right now, okay? So the best thing to do is just close this out. All right, finishing setting up the PC, the instruction, the PCB should be ready to dump or install APK. Now, if you get this message, that means you are good. This error is normal and this is good. But if you get a more, more than this error, like a couple of them, it's a good idea to close it out and restart this program again, run it as the administrator, So yes, and do cd dot dot and then type in dot forward slash b a l l e r e r dot p s one huh for some reason the colors have changed okay so I'm press enter oh something really went wrong let me close this out. Okay, all right, let's do dot forward slash B A L L E R dot P S one. If you get a green color like a while ago, just close it out and we, we, we start it. You're supposed to get the, the yellow. Well, Mike have yellow color. I'm not sure you're gonna get that. So we're gonna run, run again, number one again, just to show you, just to show you that if you get an error, like a whole bunch of error, whole bunch of different color, to run run again number one again and you will get this 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 one you won't get a whole bunch of, of this now this show that if you have a yellow thing flash on top that means it's working and so it says it's ready for you okay so if you see that then you could continue type in dot border dot ps1 press enter this time you're going to choose number three and it's going to do the Star Wars and this one doesn't take that long it's going to take like like less than two less than two minutes so once that is done dump we're going to do three four and five I haven't done yet I was able to do all this and then my stupid uh, video capture just died on me so I have to repeat all this all over again and then once we finish we're going to unplug everything. We're going to put the, the pinball back into on stage because right now it's off stage, off. So when you have it off, the pinball will not come, come, come up. All right, so it's calculating. So the dump is success. It's going to be good. All right, so that means the file have uploaded successful. It say right here, upload successfully, confirm. All right, so we're going to press the arrow key up again, press enter. This time we're going to do number four. So I'm doing number, number two, three, four twice. Because like I say, my video recording have stopped. Hopefully my re video recording doesn't stop again. Because everything I record wasn't safe. That was messed up <laughs> it's 
So after number four is done, we're going to do number five. So there's no reason to uh, you you have to unplug the machine. You just have to restart the PowerShell again because you start two and then you do one. Okay. All right, we're going to do it one more time. We did number four. Now number five is the first time I'm doing this because I haven't done number five yet. So that's William Pinball. So we are pretty much like putting all three pinball in one system. Now I haven't done the A1 pinner version three. I have it. I haven't done it yet, so I do not know how to do that. So let's go ahead. Just do. We're gonna focus on this first hack, which is version 1.1, and then. Then we will try the other one later on tomorrow or something. All right, so it's done. We did one and five, it's done, and that's it. One to five is done. So we're going to close this out and we're going to stop the video recording. We're going to go to the back of the pinball machine and check it out, everything. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and power this off because the pinball right now is black. And only thing show up is this picture right here, okay? So because it's on the off stage in the back of the PCB, so we're gonna go ahead and turn the power off, okay? And it's still plugged into my computer, so we are going to unplug everything and put everything back the way it was. So we're gonna go back to back of the pin the machine. Oh, got my flashlight still on. All right, we're gonna put this back on the stand. So we're going to uh, unplug this cable in the back. Okay. We're going to unplug this cable because we're not going to need it no more. All right. Uh, we're going to uh, unplug the power. Turn off the power first. Well, actually, actually, we don't need to. We're going to switch this level back up. So. Let's go back to the to the inside. So we are going to switch this. Uh, we, we, we push it down, so this time we're going to push it up. Okay, so now it's on 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 stage. All right. So let's take the flashlight back out. Don't need it no more. Okay. So we unplugged the cable and we uh, we did all that. Okay. Now since we're gonna play the pinball, it's okay to go ahead and leave the power on. We're gonna pack put the back back on and then we're ready to turn it on and test the the final result. Alright, let's go ahead and turn the power on. And let's see what's going on. Are we gonna get a three option to boot up? Now this version require like if you pick a different pinball, it will require you to turn it off and turn it back on. When you switch from pinball to pinball. Uh, but I think the newer version that they have, version three, uh, we will have to do that in the second video. So it looks like everything is booting up good. All right, that's cool. So now we have uh, three different pinball option now. We have marble pinball. Let's stop Star Wars. I want to see the. I want to do the marble first because. Okay, so it's, we press the left flipper. It lets you swap around. See that. I want to try the marble again because I want to know if the frame will fix that problem for the two table that we were playing a while ago. So I'm going to click the launch start button. So we are back to the normal Zen pinball of the marble pinball. Okay. So far so good. Everything is good. All right. There's two games that wasn't playing very well. 
it was it was marble mob marble it was a uh, this one and the William now my pinball machine doesn't look like it doesn't have a screen it actually does but the screen protector is here so that put that fixed the uh, I put in the the glass the pexy glass on top of the screen it, it took all the flicking and all the glare where the light shine hit the screen and causing the reflex and all that line stuff so the, all that is being fixed by having the screen down to with the sandwich with the monitor with the screen so that's fixed the problem I want to see if this Over game is fixed here. hey it sound like pretty sound surround your sounds your game will start soon okay all right so I'm gonna press the launch ball now before when I press the left and right the screen go back and forth let's see if it still do that yeah I still do the same <laughs> Yeah, that did not fix. Okay. So I don't know what Do didn't fix. Seem to jump higher on the nudge. See? Before it wasn't. Do something. Oh now if I go up and down it jump too. Oh now it does tilt. Before it didn't do that. Before it doesn't matter how much shaking it will get it won't tilt because now it will tilt and then I lose the ball. So they did fix that. So that's good. Okay. So that means that the other portion do not fix see that this portion did not fix this is not fixed yet okay so there's two game out of the tent that does that this one and the mm. other one it says something setting was added to this this table okay the sound setting flipper is still set in uh, the previous setting that I did if on the first time so that's interesting Oh, here you go, notching sen sensitivity. So, if I want it to be, let me press the, okay. I want it to be more sensitive. There you go. The same as the, the sound, okay. Okay, go back. Resume the game. Send the sound up. Ghost Rider have the same issue as last time so let's see this two this is the two that have this issue yeah same these two have the issue so it's still there Alright, the screen to me is still the same, nothing improved or got better. 
but if you put the plexiglass right on top of the screen, it will improve the screen quality and everything. Okay, well let's just, let's get it right there. Alright, let's go ahead and start another pinball game. Let's turn this off. Turn it back on. And let's start another one. Let's see if we could play the, the other two pinball. So yes, the hack is successful. Now we're going to try the other two because you know mine is the marble. Now we're going to try the Star Wall, Star Wall game and then the other one. Alright, so let's go ahead and start the Star Wall. Press the launch button. Okay, we're gonna go to that one actually, William. Interesting. Attack from Mars. Mars, Mars, Mars. Our game will start. So the nudging sideways, right and left work. Oop. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the graphic. So all my graphic is good, the writing is good, the line is good, the sound is good. I don't have any kind of problem with mine because I have moved my proxy glass right on top of my screen. And now I don't have any glare. And the screen looks great. Alright. And then there's the score running on Marvel Pinball. So that's cool. Alright, so it does work. The sound is working. The gameplay is working. The graphic look good. So if you guys have problem with plexiglass, please just take all the screw out, take the corner out, put the wood, put the plexi on top, put the tape under the, the screw so you won't scratch your, your plexi. Put the wood back on, 
you put the flame back on, then you fix. Easy, easy fix, you guys. Use a stock flame wheel fix. Now, one thing weird about William is I barely touched the plunger and the ball will shoot. Oh, I still missed up. Okay, so the ball, what's weird is the ball is covered like halfway on all the marble pinball. It's not showing the full ball. And then when you barely pull it, watch, I barely pull it, it's only shoot. I haven't released it yet, and it's only shoot. See that? That's kind of weird. On this on this particular pinball, it does that. Is all the pimple like that where the ball is covered halfway? Now, this one we usually look like halfway because I'm not looking straight at it. This one looking straight at it. The graphic is very good, the red is red, and everything is very nice. I think red is red. Let's look at the red up here. Red is red. No, this is more red. This one, it's not bad still. But when I push the button. And the ball come out. See? You don't see the ball. That's weird. And when I barely pull this, I just pull back and it shoots. Oh, this one doesn't do it. Good. Okay, this one is better. The other one, I didn't even pull back and it's always shooting the ball. This one's on us. Let's get out of the game. All right, thank you, Mr. Con on us. I mean, yeah, Con on us for his video, and thank you for Mystery uh, Coda, uh, who would make this possible for everybody. So that is pretty cool. Now the pinball at least have 30 games instead of just 10 games. So that's pretty awesome. Now, the next step is that they have a new version where you don't have to turn it off, turn it back on to play different games. You could just, you know, con continue and swap different games. So hopefully they will come up with a new video and then we could move on on that. Alright, thank you for watching, man. Later.